Hi guys! Okay, so today I'm going to show you what's in my backpack. As we all know, I'm going off to Australia early Sunday morning, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to one, show you what is going in my backpack, and two, really check that I have everything. Hey Elmo! Yeah, looking good! As you can see, my main pack is kind of made up of lots and lots of little things, and I will go through all these in a moment and very little clothing. Um, I really don't pack a lot and I will say this, some of the little things that I have in here I find essential, you might not find essential, so we're just going to go through things, okay? Obviously extremely essential is Psycho Bear. Say hi. Oh, he's not being very polite today. Also an Elmo Santa suit, as we know, extremely essential. From here I have my microfiber towel from Carrymore. This is quite a large towel and that's only because I have really long thick hair that I need to dry. I also have a really small one as well which kind of scrunches up in the size of my hand but that is in the wash at the moment. That's really great to take around with you in your day pack just in case you find you know a nice beach or a lake and you think oh god I don't have anything on me to dry myself with and there we go. I normally do recommend that a sarong is also essential, and two, that is in the wash. Now for ladies, sarongs, carry them with you everywhere, okay? Carry them everywhere, they're great for towels, picnic blankets, pillows, everything. But for the men out there, little micro towel, they're really cheap, pick one up, and they are really great, really quick at drying you and drying themselves as well, so you can put them straight back into your pack. Okay, next, I brought myself one of these little packs. I think it's from Primark, it's only a pound and it has all the little bottles. What I'm going to do to save myself some money is to fill that up with my already existing shampoo, conditioner and shower gel. Next we have ourselves a little first aid kit, really essential, got some little plasters in there, a little pair of scissors, some bandages, because I'm really accident prone and you never know. Okay, pick that up from Poundland or you can make one up yourself, you've got plenty of plasters around the house, just get yourself a little bag, make one up yourself. Another all-time essential is my little padlock. Now, these are great. I think I got this on offer in Tesco. It was meant to be about six quid, but it was reduced to 150, so I grabbed that. Because as I say in one of my other videos, when you go to hostels, they're gonna have lockers, but they don't give you the padlock, so there's no point in the lockers without the padlocks. And if you're taking a suitcase, then obviously, padlock essential, okay. This is very exciting. We have a bag of stuff. I always get myself a little little wash bag, a little makeup bag. I've from Primark, I think it's about £1.50, £2, something like that. And I just fill it with all the little bits and bobs so they don't fall to the bottom of my bag. In here, oh, let's get it out. Oh, good lord. Okay, so, what do we got? What do we got? Let's have a look. We have a spork. Very important. Very, very important. I always carry one of these round when I'm going round on the town because if you find like a little pot of pasta or you're gonna get some street food you wanna take it with you or you forgot your fork. Ah ha ha, no you haven't. Spork. Some little hand sanitizer, very important when you're staying in hostels if they don't have soap or you're on the go and your hands are all dirty because you've done a hike and then you wanna sit at the top of a hill and enjoy your lunch. Well now you can, just get a little bit of hand sanitizer, also very essential. What else do we have? Oh, I love my nail varnish, okay? This is, uh, a lot of women might not take this with them, but I've got a couple of little nice nail varnishes because I like to do my toenails, and yeah, okay, so we've got those. Lots of hair bubbles, bubbles, bubbles everywhere. Uh, some razors, just some throwaway cheap ones, I really don't care. Um, cocoa butter, oh, for me, cocoa butter is crucial. My skin can get so dry in the heat and the humidity. So, cocoa butter, a little bottle of that. This one is definitely a personal choice for me. This is Boots Tea Tree Witch Hazel Concealer. Um, I have really bad breakouts sometimes, but I find this can cover them really well at night time and also treats them at the same time. I never really use concealer at, when it's really hot because I just find makeup just melts off your face. However, this is absolutely fantastic and it was an offer, so I got two. Smile! Little toothpaste, obviously I don't really need to explain that one. My toothbrush will go in there as well, but as I'm not travelling yet, I kind of need that. Got myself a little free sample of some Nivea moisturiser. Really tiny, why not? And my hair grips, which I will take off this thing before I go. Um, but my hair is very thick, coarse and wavy, and I have to pin it back a lot. So I just grabbed some cheap hairpins from Primark for a pound, very good. 
okay i have also have a belt now this too very personal because ladies i don't know if you suffer from the same things but i buy jeans and they fit beautifully around my thighs and they are just huge around my waist so belts kind of essential for me keep those bad boys up we have more bits and bobs okay this is boots tea tree in witch hazel foam wash now the only reason yes it is a full-size bottle i know curse me i told you not to do this but i've had to because as i said i can have really bad breakouts and this is the only thing i've found that clears up my skin so until i found an alternative in australia by the way if you're from australia you know some really good um face washes then please let me know so i'm not wasting money scouring all the drug places trying to find some stuff. So yeah, that's my only full-size bottle of anything. Ooh, we have the black thing. Ooh, this is very exciting. Ooh, little sewing kit, like I said. Grab some safety pins, some thread and some needles, maybe a couple of buttons as well. But I just find this is really, really handy because basically if something tears, instead of buying something new, if your bag tears, you don't want to buy a whole new backpack that can cost a fortune, just sew it up, not a problem. Here I have my water holder can thing bottle of loveliness which can just clip onto your bag. Obviously travel adapters really really important. I got two there because I've got a lot of tech to take with me. Also um, I'm really happy that these little new compressed cans have come out. They're absolutely amazing. Just as much in there as a full size bottle but really really tiny. Oh yeah I can fit with your mouth that much. Okay, so deodorant, very important. So there's not, you know, the smelling. The smelling is not nice. No one, no one likes the smelling. This little mini poncho raincoat, which folds up really small. Thought that would come in handy because Melbourne is known for its downpours randomly. These, oh, I love these. These are multi-way scarves. They can be used just around your neck or they can go as a headband or you can put them around your wrist. But I love these, I think, because hiking gear and backpacking gear the way you dress is very plain sometimes your shorts maybe jeans and a jumper these can really snazz it up a little bit and these are super cheap got these on ebay i think i had to wait like two three weeks for them to come from china or thailand or indonesia but they cost me i think this one was about 57 pence and that was about one pound 20 so those were my bargains oh do you see elmo oh we're not going to show you elmo yet that's a surprise here we have my little luggage scale, absolutely amazing, especially if you're getting a lot of planes and you're gonna need to wear your backpack or your luggage and they're really small, really great, uh, really accurate as well I found. So just throw this into the bottom of your backpack and away you go. Underneath that I have just a basic, it's basically like a shoe bag and I put all my dirty laundry in there um, so it's not going straight back in with my other clean clothes when I'm shoving everything back into my backpack. Um, the only thing I'd say about this, if you can get one that's like a netted material that allows your wet clothes and dough clothes to breathe a little bit, that might be a bit better. This jingly jangly thing, which is all very lovely, my friend brought me this from Camden Market. It's very gorgeous. Um, this is just basically a little night bag. It's really great, really scrunches up, really tiny. And we like that, okay? Because you don't want to be taking your day backpack around with you if you want to go out for a drink of the night. So get yourself a little linen kind of bag. They'll screw up really small. Just put your bits and bobs in for when you go out at night. Oh, this is my beautiful micro sleeping bag with built-in mosquito nets. I found this amazing. I have used it. It's really easy to get back in. Uh, when you pull down the compression straps, it can go really, really small. Um, I plan to do a little bit of couch surfing, uh, plan to stay with a few friends, um, that's really great for that. But also I want to do a few nights under the stars, as some of my Facebook followers know. About 1.5 kilos, but it is a preference for me to have one because I know I'll get a lot of use out of it. That's right ladies, only two pairs of shoes. I That's actually a lot for me. I am going to travel in my walking shoes because they're so big and clumpy, I don't want to put them in my pack. So anything like that, jeans, jumpers, uh, walking shoes, walking boots, then wear them while you're travelling, then you don't have to fit them in your pack. However, the only reason I got my little sandals, obviously my little flip-flops, love them. And secondly, I'm going to be working when I'm travelling, so I brought myself a nice little cheap pair of flats, which are quite cute, and I'll probably wear these out on an evening as well. Okay? Awesome. When it comes to clothing, I really don't take that much. Now, this is my problem. This is a very beautiful long skirt. Oh, let's show them. Oh, yes. Oh yes. 
Now I love this skirt and I get a lot of use out of it. I have a lot of long skirts because I prefer long skirts to short skirts. Um, however, the problem is this is quite thick. It's quite heavy, but it's the one thing I'm taking that I know I'll wear a lot, so I'm not too worried. Uh, basically, we got two pairs of shorts under here, a pair of denim ones, a pair of khaki ones, and a little pair of scrunch-up pajama shorts to wear at night. In the top section, we have a little cardigan to throw on. It's a really nice, light, scrunches up really easy, doesn't crease. Uh, great for evenings and also if you're going to go into any churches or temples. And I've got a couple of other little tops. Um, the only thing missing from this is a couple of strappy little vest tops or singlets, as the Aussies like to call them, um, which are two in the wash, so they will go in as well. I'm only taking oh, one dress, and my dress is... Whoop, I'm throwing things about, Ali, get it together. Okay, we have this little dress, okay? And it's really pretty, and it's small. Oh, God, God, I get my words out, can't get my words out. Yeah, it's really cool, it goes really small, okay? That's all you need to know. So, as you can see, I'm not taking a great deal. I actually want to take less than this. Um, however, it all fits really nice in my backpack. doesn't take up much space. One thing I also will remind you I don't have here is medication. So, if you do need medication, then obviously that. Also, another great one, underwear. I have not put my underwear out. Did any of you notice? I've got my bikini in there, but not my underwear. I'm not showing you, okay? It's not happening. So, here's Babs. She's empty and ready to go. She is a Carrymore 60 to 70 litre. I love the ones that expand. I have done a video showing you my backpack. It is called Suitcase vs Backpack, and it's one of my back jacket. Back chat. Backpack chat. Ooh. Backpack chat episodes. Because, you know, you can just expand it on the sides, and that is great. Also, what I have here is a Euro Hike compression sack size medium, which is good because of all my bulkiness there. Fit it in here, pull down the straps, and it gets really small. Now, I'm not an expert in packing backpacks, so what the only tips I can suggest is make sure it's adjusted properly on your back. The women, especially women, it sits well on your hips, okay? Don't let it be pulling you back. Your shoulders should never feel a pull, especially with a really good backpack. Another thing I would recommend that if you're going to put your heavy clothes into your compression sack, then make sure you do not put this at the bottom of your pack. Put nothing heavy at the bottom. All your heavy stuff should go from mid to upper backpack, okay? It should lay there because then the weight will be on your shoulders and your shoulders will naturally distribute this weight down your back. If you have everything heavy at the bottom of your pack, then you're going to be pulling so hard on your back all day. It's going to absolutely kill. Okay, so those are the only tips I can give you about packing. However, I'm going to now show you what I'm going to take in my hand luggage. Okay, so if it comes to Sunday morning and I realise that there were a million things I didn't include in this video after it's been published, I will put them in annotations or pop them in the description box. But I am praying I have forgotten nothing. Okay, so let's have a look at my hand luggage. Okay, so my hand luggage. We cannot forget Elmo. We will never forget Elmo. Oh my gosh, talking of Elmo! <gasps> Elmo patch. Thank you very much, Lizzie. One of my best friends brought me this round today to put on my pack. So we are going to iron this onto the pack. Okay, it's going to be very nice. And Elmo can be with me everywhere. And Fat Elmo over there, well, you just can't get rid of him, really. Okay, so my hand luggage. This backpack is really small, really great, and has lasted me forever. Again, of course, it's carry more. Okay, so we've opened up the bag. Let us zoom in on the bag of doom. Ooh, it's all very neat, Ali. Well done. Okay, let's empty this out. Okay, so my hand luggage doesn't really consist of a great deal. We have my little mini laptop here, which is super small. Look, my hand fits on it. Okay, um, I'm only taking this because basically, well, let's face it, how else am I going to edit videos for you guys to enjoy? Exactly. We have my travel journal. Thank you very much, Nicola. She brought me my travel journal. It's amazing. Uh, lots of little compartments inside, little dividers. So all my essential information already written in there. Then we come on to the blue folder. The blue folder. Okay, in this folder I've got my passport, my uh, currency, coach ticket, plane ticket, any other bits and bobs. Also, must not forget my purse. Very important for the monies. And also my little gorilla pot. 
little tripod, which most of my films used to get filmed on, until I got a big one. Now they're going to go back to this bad boy. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Muscular. Toned. Fabulous. Of course my Kindle. I never go anywhere without my Kindle. Obviously fully charged, loaded with books already. We have wires, we have leads because I have a lot of tech to take with me. So I've got my phone charger, my Kindle charger, my laptop charger, my camera charger, all different types of chargers. And we have a little bag. And in this little bag we have... Woohoo! Looky, looky. Okay, let's just take it out. We have earplugs. Because you do not want to be stuck to someone who's snoring all damn day and all damn night. Okay, so great for hostels, great for when you're on the move. Little earplugs, okay, cool. Ah, one for the ladies. Some tampons because Mother Nature likes to strike when we don't want her to. And the worst thing is, is for her to do it whilst we're travelling. So, there we go. Oh, what is this? It's pink. Oh, good lord. Okay, wet wipes, awesome. Um, these are great, as with hand sanitizers, I find wet wipes, oh, absolutely essential um, to have because, you know, clean up your hands, especially if you're going on a long walk, great in your hand luggage, especially if you've just eaten your packed lunch. And talking of packed lunch, there shall be a packed lunch and a drink, okay? So those will be going in my hand luggage and in my little backpack over there. So basically that is it. Um, I don't really think I've missed anything out. I really hope I haven't. So here is the disaster which I call my bed. I'm gonna go pack this up now and this is very exciting. Okay, the next time I might talk to you is when I'm at the airport, okay? So any questions, anything at all, don't hesitate to ask. Also, my website is in development at the moment, www.psychotraveler.weebly.com. Um, so that will be up and running shortly. It is up and running now. There is a cool map there where you can see where I am in the world at that very moment. And oh my god, I love that patch! That is just awesome. I'm going to iron that on right now and ruin my backpack. I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to do it for you. Okay, toodle!